everybody, welcome back to Wheels TV. This is Matteo Guricelli. And I am Angel Rivero. Where are we today, Angel? We are now at the front of the World Trade Center here in Pasay City. Yep, we're here for the 11th Manila International Auto Show. Wow! Super wow. It's super wow. We have this uh, outdoor circuit going on with some off-road action. You want to go for a spin? I am very, very excited to take this Woo! vehicle in the off-road track they have today. And Angel, what are we going to expect for today? Today, we're going to have over 500 cars inside the Mia's grounds. We okay. have all these new models coming out, all these models that you should be looking out for before making that purchase for the summer. Cool. Before we get into more details, guys, we're going to take a ride. See you guys later. And you know what, Angel? Here in the Philippines, we do not compare to the other Asian regions because when they have their auto shows, it's huge. In the exactly. Philippines, we have a, it's a smaller kind of thing, but, but we are growing. On the perspective of economic growth in the automotive industry, we are actually at a very, very robust stage. Mm -hmm. You know, last year, we sold up to 230,000 units. Wow, that's Yep. The Wheels TV team is right here at the Mias today to feature all the cool stuff we have today. The new cars, the new technology and everything else. So follow us, watch us and be amazed. Woohoo! Full force! So we're now here at the, the 2015 Manila International Auto Show with the first uh, presentation today, which is Ford. Mateo, can you tell us what Ford unveiled for today? That's right, we're here for the Ford presentation. We just revealed an all-new Ford Everest and the Ford Expedition for yeah. today. Um, so we're here and we also have the new um, 2015 Mustang. It looks great. Ford gave the public its first glimpse of the all-new Everest. The all-new revolutionary SUV retains its tough go-anywhere capabilities while being wrapped in a technologically advanced body. Final pricing and specifications will be revealed in May with sales starting in the third quarter. The big surprise of the show is the Expedition Platinum. Ford's large premium SUV gains a turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 EcoBoost engine shared with the Explorer Sport. Aside from better fuel economy, it also gets more luxurious inside. Retailing for 3.488 million, it goes on sale by July. Throughout the day, we'll you'll see Wheels TV will be covering the entire Manila International All Show. Ford's just the first stop, we'll continue on. That's right, that's right. See you guys later. So now we're here at the Subaru Pavilion where Subaru launched two all-new vehicles. We have the all-new Legacy and the all-new Outback. Well, we saw these vehicles last year at the Bangkok Motor Show and I'm still impressed the way I see now with, the, with these new vehicles. Subaru is pushing up market with the all-new Legacy and Outback. Both convey a spirit of improved upscale design while still being true to Subaru's design philosophies. The Legacy is launched in two models the 2.5 four-cylinder 2.5 IS and the 3.6-liter .6 six-cylinder 3.6 RS. Both models offer a larger, plusher interior, improved fuel economy, and added luxury touches. Meanwhile, the all-new Outback, available solely with the 3.6 six-cylinder engine, offers all-weather, all-road confidence with a more solid suspension and the addition of X-Mode. We're saying that um, these two new models are have a better touch point, meaning it's more luxurious, they're more refined, and I think it really shows in the design they're more they're more elegant, right? And um, they're saying also with the new technologies underneath the body, you're also more fuel efficient. Yes, and they're not all about looks either, because we were we had the luxury or the privilege of driving these machines, and let me tell you, they have they promise good performance as the Subaru as a brand does. Yeah. Now we can't wait to actually drive it more during a future episode of Wheels TV. Oh, definitely. Definitely, but the star of the show here is not actually uh, in white, okay. but red. White. Specifically, that very tasty looking Golf GTI over there. It's this hot looking Golf GTI. Yes, it has, it's powered by a 2.0 turbocharged engine, and a lot of people have been waiting for the Golf. And now Volkswagen Philippines has delivered by bringing in the top variant, the GTI. Wow, let's take a look inside and see what the interior is like. Top parang mas 
Oh yes, yes. Uh, I would like to buy this if I had the dough. Really? Yeah, yeah. Do you see this flag that's on my bracelet? It's the one that represents this iconic car, the Mini Cooper. Right, Lily? Really? Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but yes, <laughs> this is the new member of the Mini family. It's a Mini Cooper 5-door. It's uh, the first time in the history of Mini that the normal hatchback now sprouts the additional doors in the back. So what we have is exactly the same engine, a slightly longer wheelbase, more space in the trunk, and more space for actually to fit five people. So in this way, it's probably more attractive to bigger families? That's true. I think that's what Mini is attempting with these two, the Mini Cooper S 5-door and this, this one, the Mini Cooper 5-door. Uh, they're attempting to actually gain more market share. Mini unleashed a new 5-door model with a longer wheelbase and a longer body. It also has more interior headroom and luggage space than its 3-door version. It comes in two flavors, the Mini Cooper 5-door and the Mini Cooper S 5-door. So therefore, Mini Cooper is evolving. But it's still got that go-kart feeling. Yes. However, it looks more modern. You can actually fit more people and more luggage inside. Yes. And so this might actually be a good hit. Yes, I think so. And um, to prove a point in a future episode of Wheels TV, we're actually going to drive the three-door version of the newest Mini Cooper, the Mini Cooper S. Oh, this is very interesting. Watch out for that. Welcome to our living room, also known as the Tata Prima. This one huge vehicle is one of um, Tata's offerings at the Mias. It's powered by Cummins engine, an 8.8 liter engine with six cylinders. Six cylinders. I also read that it goes up to 99 kilometers per hour. I don't know what that extra one kilometer per hour, you know, where that can come from. Na para daw hindi mahuli sa speed limit. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. What is the best thing? about being a car model here at the Manila International Auto Show. May chance kang mag-enjoy at the same time, the talent fee is really good. 